doing? Hey, Jesse. It's Deesa from Pop Dust. Thank you for taking time out of your very, very busy schedule to sit and talk with us. So how are you how are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm good. I'm still alive. I'm stay healthy. <laughs> I hear that, I hear that. So we're just going to get right into it because I know you got a busy, busy schedule ahead of you with the release coming tomorrow. So first question is describe to us the meaning behind the title being human in public. It's kind of just about having your father's forefront. We're kind of embracing talking about things that I mean, for me personally, it's about being a safe and secure person for the a lot of layers. And then getting in our own, I'm almost awesome awesome so what was your mentality going into putting this project together So, you garnered a lot of attention since the release of Kiddo. Did you feel like with this project there was pressure, or was it just business as usual when it came to putting everything together? I don't know, man. It's just a reflex. It's good. Like, if you ate something that your stomach didn't like, it's like poison. Some things that you eat, your body's like, I gotta throw up. It's not like, it's not like your brain, it's not like you're constantly thinking, oh, I need to throw up. That's your body's reflex, that's your body's reaction. Something doesn't feel good but so the often that's how I feel about songs. Sometimes there's I have this emotion or something that I went to that's just not fit right. It just comes out. Awesome. So not, it's just a reflex. Awesome. Now your music has become the voice for women who aren't trying to be confined by the labels that society has placed on them. Did you maintain that same fire on this project? Or are you looking to broaden your audience by making the content a little bit more inclusive? And I don't clock it out. I don't draw a fucking blueprint demographic and shit. I feel like when you do that, you lose some of the purity of what music is. Again, it's just been a reflex. I'm just being me. Awesome. If that's what's resonated, that's what's dope. As we all know, you were featured on Eminem's you know, latest album, Kamikaze, on two songs. and. Amazing souls, by the way. Um, what was some of the advice that you received when you worked with him? Because I imagine he was just a wealth of knowledge and he's a legend in himself. So what were some of the tips that he gave you when you guys worked together on his album? Honestly, he gave me this really dope. It wasn't so much advice. It was just this dope compliment. I really think it's because he said that I got one of those voices that you can hear it no matter way that you see. And you don't question it. Awesome, awesome, man. Us as fans, we're super grateful that you're on the project as well. Uh, <laughs> so, in the last few years, it seems like Canadian artists have shaped and reshaped the music landscape across all genres. What would you say is the key reason why people from all over the world, like artists and fans, gravitate to you guys? Canadian artists? Yeah. Well, I think that us, like, I mean, I feel like we've had a plethora of music for a long time. We've had these communities, but I think we're in Toronto, there's been, there's been music history, there's been hip hop history there. However, I feel like after, after that shift, that like, I feel like Drake pioneered that. I feel like before that, like we have we have chaos, we have Cardi, we have Julie Black, we have so much musical history. And then there was this shift, and then Drake there, and then the weekend, and Justin Bieber here, and these floodgates open. The cool thing about Toronto, cool thing about Canada in general, is that it's just multicultural. But obviously, when you go out back to the city, it's not as much in Toronto. I feel less than you in the city. Because it's so multicultural. It's so multicultural. You can walk a block and, like, you know, 
locked down town and say like you visit 10 different countries if you can you can hear 10 different languages walking a block you can go to t- like and, and have authentically like like food from different places and uh, different places and hear different music when you walk in so I feel like all that affects it and when you have it's almost like having this like palette of so many colors and it's not even like your color it's not your flavor it's not your history but you're exposed to this your whole life so you can help with people like melting pot you know you can help with people yeah so there's pretty much something for everybody in every capacity but you guys tend to represent a little bit better than other places might Thanks. yeah so one final question um halloween is coming up and are you anticipating people dressing up as you this year <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I feel like I got a ways to go before I do that. <laughs> I feel like I got a, I feel like I got a ways to go before I do that. Before I see people doing this, this. <laughs> if they do this, no. But, but I, again, I feel like, I feel like I got, I got a ways to go. I still gotta make it bigger. I still gotta keep chasing it. I still gotta, I still gotta test with the shit that I need to do before I'm at that level. I think. Awesome. Awesome. Well. At the rate that you're going, that won't be too long. But Jesse, we definitely appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to talk with us, and we can't Thanks, wait sir. to hear the new project. And congratulations on all your success, and good luck with everything that's coming up for you. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you for calling. Awesome. Take care.